In a very exciting move, Databricks has released this open weight model DBRX. DBRX is a 132 billion parameter model and it's a mixture of expert model which is better than Mixtrol and comparable to Gemini Pro. In this video, I am going to introduce you to this DBRX model. Unfortunately, I won't be able to install it locally because it is too big and it requires too many GPUs for my pocket. So, but I will try to give you a comprehensive overview as what exactly this DBRX instruct model is. The very, very good thing about this model is that they have opened the weights and all the detail about this model on the hacking face. And I will drop the link to this hacking face page in video's description. So DBRX is an open general purpose LLM created by Databricks and across a range of standard benchmarks, DBRX has already set a new state of the art for established open LLMs. It also provides the open community and enterprise building their own LLMs with capabilities that were previously limited to closed model APIs, which is huge because this model has already surpassed GPT 3.5 and is competitive with Gemini 1 Pro, which is really, really tall claim. Also, it has surpassed models like Code Llama 70 billion on programming, in addition to its strength as general purpose LLM. Now, when we say that it is state of the art quality, it means that it comes with marked improvements in training and inference performance. And DBRX advances the state of the art in efficiency among open model thanks to its fine grained mixture of expert architecture. If you look at some of the inference stats, they are also amazing, really, really amazing. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the weights of the base model, which is DBRX base and the fine tuned model, which is DBRX instruct, which I just showed you on hugging phase, they are available on under the open license. DBRX is also available for Databricks customers to use via API and Databricks customers can pre-train their own DBRX class model from scratch or continue training on top of one of their checkpoints using the same tooling and size they used to build it. How good is that? DBRX is already being integrated into Databricks generative AI powered products where in applications like SQL uh, and which the tools they, you can already readily use it. We all know the training mixture of expert model is hard and they had to come a, overcome a variety of scientific and performance challenges to build a pipeline robust enough to repeatedly train DBRX class model in an efficient manner. And they have very good detail on this hugging face page. Now, if we delve into a bit more technical detail around this DBRX instruct model, at the core, it is a transformer based decoder only LLM that was trained using next token prediction. It uses a fine grained mixture of expert architecture with 132 billion total parameter of which 36 billion parameters are active on any input. It was pre-trained on 12 trillion tokens of text and code data. And if you compare it to other open M mixture of expert models like Mixtrol and even Grok1, DBRX is fine grained, meaning it uses a larger number of smaller experts. DBRX has 16 experts and chooses 4, while Mixtrol and Grok1 have 8 experts and choose 2, which is huge because it provides 65 times more possible combination of experts and they have found out that this improves the model quality. DBRX uses a rotary position encoding, which is rope, and I have done few videos around it, gated linear units, GLU, and grouped query attention. It also uses a GPT-4 tokenizer as provided in the tick token repo. And they have made these choices based on exhaustive evaluation and scaling experiments. And let me also give you a quick one liner on the, these three terms which I uh, used rope, GLU, and GQA. The rope is, as I said, rotary position encoding. It is a technique in machine learning using sinusoidal you know, functions to encode positional information. Whereas GLU stands for gated linear unit, 
and it they are the activation functions in neural networks that selectively pass information through a gating mechanism and that is very important for mixture of expert models then we have gqa or grouped query attention that is a mechanism in attention based models that organizes query vectors into groups to enhance computational efficiency and performance now as i mentioned earlier that um, these models uh, this dbrx model was pre trained on 12 trillion tokens of carefully curated data and a maximum context length of 32k tokens they have estimated that this data is at least two times better token for token than the data they used to pre train the mpt family of models and i already have covered mpt models in my other videos and i'm really really impressed that they have uh, shared lot of benchmarking information which looks correct and also um, the way they have shared all the weights and training detail is also quite impressive for example if you look at this inference efficiency so if you look at this graph inference throughout throughput for various models configuration on their optimized serving infrastructure using nvidia's tensor rt llm at 16 bit precision with the best optimization flags they could find and also models are um, running in tensor parallel across the entire node and the input prompt contains approximately 2000 prompt token and they have generated 256 output tokens how good is that now as far as hardware configuration and all that stuff dbrx was trained on 3000 uh, 3072 nvidia h100 connected by 3.2 tbps infiniband that is huge the main process of building dbrx including pre training post training evaluation red teaming and refining took place over the course of 3 months it was the continuation of months of science data set research and scaling experiments not to mention years of llm development at databricks that include mpt and dolly projects and thousands of models they have built and brought to productions with their customers to build dbrx they leveraged the same suite of databricks tools that are available to their customers they managed and governed their training data using unity catalog they explored this data using newly acquired uh, lilac ai and they have all the information on their uh, blog post they also have logged their results using ml flow and they also collected human feedback for quality and safety improvement through mosaic ai model serving and inference table okay now if you are looking to get started working with dbrx right away you can do that with databricks mosaic ai foundation model api and you can quickly get started with their pay as you go pricing and query the model from their own ai playground chat interface also for production applications they offer a provision throughput option to provide performance guarantees support for fine tuned models and additional security and compliance so that's it guys i hope that you liked it as i said i will drop the link to this hugging face model card in video description try it out play around with it and let me know what do you think really good to see a big company open sourcing their model really really awesome stuff if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching